What's going on, Aries? How are you doing? All right, we're going to look at mid-September, see what's going on for y'all. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Aries. What just fell out? Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We'll put that over there and see how that plays out into the reading. All right, we're going to find out recent past, current energy. What does this person think of you? What's on their mind? How do they view you? How do they feel about you? How do they want to move forward for the rest of the month? What's in the hidden factors? So what are they hiding? What is your advice from spirit? And what's the outcome for the rest of September? Mid-September for Aries. The link to the extended reading will be below, pinned in the comment section and in the description box as well. All right, let's get to it. Hey, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you're returning, Thank you for your beautiful energy. All right, recent past. We've got the three of swords. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, stick out to stick around to the end of the reading. Also, we're gonna go through each zodiac sign, person on your mind, how they feel about you. So you're gonna hang out till the end. What's going on right now? What's the current energy between you and this person? Two of Pentacles, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's running through their mind? Three of Pentacles in reverse. More earth energy. What does this person think of you? Six of pentacles. How do they feel about you deep down? What's going on? We've got the sun, major arcana for Leo. How does this person want to move forward? What can you expect? Nine of swords. Well, they're just losing their mind, aren't they, Aries? Are they going bat bleep, 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 crazy over you, losing sleep? What the hell? What are they hiding? What's in the hidden factors? Three of cups. We're getting a lot of threes. What's going on, Aries? What's going on? What's your advice from spirit? We've got the moon, major arcana for cancer, or a little Pisces action, depending. It could be both. And what's the outcome? What can you expect for the rest of September? You've got the world. Last major arcana. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, down in the comment section, what's your Venus sign? Because I want to know. Let me know. I always read my comments. I love it when y'all interact. Let me know what you think about the reading and also let us know your Venus sign. Venus, love, right? How you interact with others. All right, so let's see what's up. So Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, mid-September. What's going on with this person? What can you expect? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? All right, let's start it. Let's start clarifying this bad bitch of a reading. All right, in the recent past, you guys are showing with this person as the Three of Swords. Is there a split or some sort of disappointment? And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. It looks like Mama Universe stepped in. That uh, Wheel of Fortune is all about fate, destiny. Something was meant to happen. There needed to be either a break. Listen, the Three of Swords can also be a fight, right? And I feel like I keep looking at this Queen of Cups that fell out, Aries. I feel like this is y'all, even though you're a fire sign. You could have water on your chart, but she's just like, spill the tea because I'm just over here. My emotions are balanced. Like, I'm good because the Queen of Cups not only is highly intuitive, that energy is all about, you know, being balanced. Those emotions are, are even, right? And her intuition is so spot on that she didn't really have to do a lot. Yeah, she can love, but she's just going to kind of sit back and wait until that intuition knocks on her door. So something was destined to happen here. The universe came in and said, hey, Aries, I've got this. This needs to happen. Whatever deception, breakup, whatever. We're going to find out why as we go through the reading. What's going on right now? Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Uh, we need to clarify that again. What's this Eight of Swords, Aries? And Judgment. I feel like mm, it could be a second chance, but I feel like this is more like, listen, it's time to blow the horn. You know, judgment is really taking stock of a situation, major arcana. And it's because right now, two of pentacles, somebody's either juggling, cheating, or it's that wishy-washy energy, and it's frustrating. Eight of swords, you know? And you know, it's either you or them. Somebody knows there's a really big, important decision to make about this connection right now. And it's like with that eight of swords, you've been there, right? You're kind of stuck in your thoughts, or they are. I think it's more frustration, and somebody's getting ready to blow the horn. What's on their mind, Aries? Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Wands. Why is this here? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this on their mind? Page of Wands. And then there you are. Look at that. Queen of Wands in reverse. See, again, I feel like you're in the driver's seat. I mean, do we need to revisit? Look at her. 
she's like, yes, you rang. You know, it just seems very like you're as far as the emotions and, and all of that, you already know what you need to know with that intuition. So on their mind is, can we work on this? They may think that you're already with, they may think that you're talking to somebody else or you're interested in someone else. I'm not saying it. Mom here is just pulling cards and using my intuition. With the page of wands here, they want, they're they waiting on some sort of good news to come in from you. Good news meaning, I want you, don't ever leave me. But with that queen of wands in reverse, they feel like you're not going to take action. You've lost the passion for them and possibly have, you know, some interest in someone else. Maybe they're just jealous. They also feel like you guys are just pissed. How do they view you right now? We've got the six of pentacles. Why, 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 why? Yeah, justice in reverse. Somebody here feels like they've been wronged. Justice in reverse is, you know, something didn't go my way. Maybe somebody lied. With the Six of Pentacles giving to others. It's interesting because I it's more this person, Aries. They feel like you're not into them. You don't want it. Maybe they feel like you're into somebody else. You might even be in a full-blown relationship. And this person feels like you've just lost the passion and you want to just move on. At least that's how they view this. They feel like they're getting the short end of the stick. How do they feel about you deep down the sun, Leo energy, and the five of cups? Yeah, grass wasn't greener, was it? That's how they're kind of feeling. Because when you feel the sun, you want healing with that five of cups because they're sad. They're missing you. They're regretting something. The, what does the sun bring emotionally? It brings healing and growth and positive changes and happiness because they're in the five of cups. Why are they in the five of cups? Regret, loss, ace of swords in reverse. Somebody thinks somebody lied here. If this person lied to you, Aries, they're like, oh, the bleep, bleep. I shouldn't have done that. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. And there's no communication. And if you're still with this person, I mean, somebody might be sleeping on the couch, but I feel like the communication is just not good. Somebody feels betrayed. How do they see moving forward? What can you expect? We've got the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. The Water Uber has been called. Cancerian Energy. Why? What's this Water Uber Chariot and the King of Swords? This person wants to get something off their chest. You've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius because they're they're in bed, popping popcorn, eating Pop-Tarts, calling, you know, DoorDash late at night because they can't sleep. Why? Well, you've either moved on and they think you've moved on with someone else but also, too, they want to communicate, but they can't get it off their chest. Something is bothering this person, and they don't know how to communicate this. Hell, they may have done this to you, but I, I feel like it's more you're out the door. What are they hiding? What's in the hidden factors? Three of Cups with the death card in reverse. Yeah, take me back, Scorpio energy. I can't let go of the fact that it's ended. I know I didn't change in the past, so I'm still holding on to this ending. And the Three of Cups is... is reuniting. It's reconciling. This is also very much energy of, hey, Aries, if you're into someone else and you've moved on, I don't care. I'm not letting go. They're not letting go. Why is the death card in reverse? Because of the world. We got to clarify that one more time. See, there's that ending. They're still holding on to an ending. And again, if you're already with this person, there, something's gone down. And you may have even threatened to end it, right? They may be sleeping in their mom's basement because you kicked them out of the house, the world. Yeah, they want a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. I still think there's potential. We can, we can restart. And again, if this is somebody you've been in a loop with, like a lack of change, they just, they just keep repeating the behavior. I feel like maybe it's the bottom of the ninth and Aries is not even going to call in the pinch hitter. You, you're just gone. What's the advice? The moon and the ten of swords. I mean, does that person look happy? No. It's a very long cycle. It's painful or it's just flat out deception and betrayal. With that moon, secretive energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, everyone. They may just have said something and you're like, oh, that's it. I'm, I'm not calling you one Uber. I'm calling you five. It's very painful. With the lovers, Gemini energy, spirit saying, you got to make this choice or decision here. Take your emotion out of it, which it looks like you've already done because, well, we, the universe, stepped in and we moved this along for you. Certainly could have been cheating. But again, Aries, I also feel like for some of you, you are already on the outs with this person. Like something's gone awry. 
And maybe, just maybe, somebody else has sparked your interest. And Spirit's saying, listen, before you go any further, deal with this, make this choice or decision, and then end it if you're going to end it. What's the outcome? We've got the world. What's up, world? Major Arcana, the last, and the nine of swords. And I think you do end it. And if you're not ending it, ending it, you're certainly taking a big fat break. And it's one of those breaks where the person doesn't know how long it's going to be. And they start, you know, again, worry, anxiety, losing sleep. What's this nine of swords? <laughs> Aries, come on. Is that y'all like happy and celebrating? <laughs> Ten of cups. Oh my God. If you're married to this person or in a long-term relationship, they still want to fix that. They still feel like there can be that uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Happy family, happy life. Please take my apology, page of cups. I'm telling you, this person is not going to let you go. And we'll find out in the extended, are you really going to let them go forever? Or is this just kind of a test? You seem pretty determined and you seem pretty pissed. That's what it looks like to me. All right, we'll find out more how they feel and how they're going to deal with us in the extended reading, but yeah. All right, if you are an Aries sun, how does this person feel about you? If you're an Aries sun, how do they feel about you? We're going to pull one card for sun, moon, rising. How does this person feel about Aries sun for the rest of September? The Page of Pentacles starting slowly. We've got Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus kind of testing the waters. You know, it can be extending that olive branch a little bit. This person's going to move slowly because, again, they feel like you're either done or you're really pissed. What if you're an Aries moon? How does this person feel the rest of September? Aries moon. And the nine of cups in reverse. They're drained, right? This is something that they're trying to manifest, but they're having a hard time doing it. They may be even drinky drinky or overindulging in some way, trying to mask the pain. They're starting to lose hope. What if you are an Aries rising? You're an ascendant Aries. How does this person feel about you? What can you expect? How do they feel the rest of September? Ooh, look at you all up in their energy. They're like, oh, come here, Aries. So if you're an Aries rising, this person expects to regain control of the situation to nurture it. If you're still, if you're married, they're, they're not going anywhere. Or they feel like they could, you know, they also be married to you, but they also feel with that emperor energy. There's a tiny bit there where they feel like they can kind of control the situation. They can overcome the obstacle of whatever's going on here. So give me one more card on this uh, emperor because I just got to know. Yeah, the ace of swords. They still feel like there's victory and success here. So overall, whether you're an Aries, sun, moon, or rising, there's this testing of the waters. I feel a little emotionally depleted because I don't feel like it's going to come to fruition. I'm going to tell them that I'm going to nurture them. We're going to overcome this, and I still want success, especially for you uh, rising Aries signs. All right, y'all, don't forget to put in the comments section what's your Venus sign. And uh, other than that, we're going to dive into that extended reading and see what's going on. I want to see what their next kind of action is going to be. This feels like a little bit of desperation. Like it's just, it's time to start, you know, getting on their knees and begging you to stay or to come back. That's just what it feels like. And again, let that sink in because I really feel like that's Aries energy. All right, Aries, I will see y'all on the extended. I love you hard. Love me hard back. I would appreciate a thumbs up for the video. Leave your comments, all your comments, and uh, share the video with someone who might need the message. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Love you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.